There we go. So that's my process that you got to get a little view into what it's like using all this technology stuff. All right. I hope I'm in there on both of them. So I wanted to, you know, this morning I woke up and I really wanted to make a My Public Diary share talking about stuff going on in my world. And um, I was feeling a lot of anxiety this morning. And so I just did a really awesome meditation for anxiety. And so I want to share with you this beautiful experience I just had. Um, um, so the meditation first invited us into breath and but the invitation to really look at whatever's causing anxiety, like really get to know like what's going on why you know and so for me I'm a visionary I'm very visual and so where I ended up going well, I went lots of places but the big aha in this is the me of today and well, I want to say my my higher self or my whole self um, got to sit with and I got to see the part of me that's hurting really bad and is holding a lot of shame and I remember when and this all just happened and it was a 10 minute meditation and I really got into this vision space probably, you know, five to seven minutes in or something. I don't know. But um, so when I first saw this part of me that's feeling so stressed out and overwhelmed and really got close to them, so like they're weird they're they're carrying a lot of dark energy this part of me is like weighed down and sad and full of shame and they're wearing like dark brown shabby like colors like it's me you know um wearing clothes that I would wear looks like me and but the way they're showing this part of me is showing up right now well, in that moment when I first met them in this meditation they couldn't look me in the eye and um, so I sat down with them and listened and held their hand and reminded them that I'm I'm here with them and that they're not alone and I really want to understand what's going on and why what their needs are why they feel the need to feel this way. why you're really getting curious and as I got more and more curious this part of me looked up I, there was a lightness all of a sudden. There was still them. There was still this part of me, but all of a sudden there was like a sense of okayness. Like, oh, hey, like, oh, you're paying attention. I'm here. Thank you. And I felt like they let me in. Like, I really got to get to know this part of me. And, um, I'm going to take a moment because it was really deep and there's a lot that happened in a short period of time. There's a lot that can happen in consciousness. <laughs> um, <sighs> um, 
This part of me is carrying a lot of guilt. This part of me is carrying a lot of shame. This part of me is not proud of me. And this part of me is scared. This part of me feels alone. This part of me feels lost and insecure and not knowing what to do. Maybe when I sat down with them, I got to see the gift and the beauty in them and hold them and be with them. And um, let go of the story and the judgment of this part of me and really drop into the divine dance and um, an understanding and curiosity and mm, gratitude sharing gratitude with this part of me for showing up and for sharing with me giving gratitude and just being with you know like not trying to fix or change like there's a part of me right now that's speaking very loudly that um really wants to change, really wants change and is ready for change and is trying to send me a message and I'm really dropping in to see what's, what's going on, what do I need to do, what's really listen and, um, and love and love them, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of love. That was like one of the biggest things, like loving myself. Because this part of me just wants me to love them. It wants me to love me. This part of me that's feeling so down underneath all the stories and the shame and the judgment is this deep <clears throat> soul desire, my soul's essence coming through for me to understand what I need and how I can love myself more and be better to myself and take better care of myself and that's like the big message and um mm, yeah mm. so mm, the other things I wanted to talk about Oh, God, that was such a powerful meditation. Like, I can't. It's amazing where you can go and what you can do in a short period of time when you set your intentions and your consciousness and you breathe into it. Like, you don't have to know. You don't have to go to, like, a bunch of classes. Like, those are great. I'm all about higher education. Um, but, yeah. And, um... So I'm so grateful I just gave that time to myself and I feel more clear as to some steps that I want to take for myself to show up for this part of myself more, to take better care of myself and love myself more and be there for that part of me. Um, yeah. And so the other thing I want to share about is my outfit. So this... So, I feel super mm, sexy and loved and cuddled and held and appreciated and understood while wearing this. These are my partner's clothes. And um, yesterday, we shared some 
really beautiful conscious time together. We've been struggling. Um, we're both, we're both cancers. We're both empathic. We're both highly sensitive. And we came into each other's lives. We literally were both on our moon cycle when we met. And our moon cycles are aligned. So that happens. And then there's logistically and then energetically, astrologically, a lot going on in the field. Um, but yesterday we really had a sweet connected day. And they took really great care of me. Um, my moon is really intense in general, but it's really intense right now and uh, yeah and, and they cooked some dinner and they ran me a bath and they joined me in the bath and we had a really sweet connected like just deep dive into usness made me like that's what I can really say about the entirety. Like, I felt really held, and they felt, you know, really appreciative and held and seen. And we, um, so one of the big things behind all this is space. And we often spend a lot of time in my space. Um, their space at this moment, their home at this moment, isn't really like conducive to our usness, and isn't really a container where we can be fully expressed in our usness right now. So we don't get to spend a lot of time at their space. And um, but yesterday we did, and I could see and I was so happy to be in their space to be held by them and like they know where everything is they could take care of me they could show up it's it's and they had everything they needed and they wanted they didn't have to wonder where their stuff was or not have this or that um, and it just it was perfect it felt like needed for both of us individually and relationally um, it's amazing like the simple components of creating intimacy um, relationship connection uh, moving through stuff um, all the you know the many layers and levels of things that go into that and, but also when you drop in, um, like when I, I said just now the simplicity, but after I said everything else, I'm like, oh, I don't know, it wasn't that simple. But underneath the story, the judgment, the, all the stuff, it's simple, you know? And um, yeah, so, um, that's that <laughs> and I'm excited for today because I'm gonna do the um, couples corner show with Paul I always forget his last name it's not McFarland it's something else okay anyways love coach Academy today at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time 9 a.m. Pacific there's couples corner with Paul he rocks, he knows his stuff, um, he goes over a lot of tips and tools on relationship and communication. Um, I'm excited and my partner will be joining so I'm really excited to be in this class, in this call um, with them and then after that we have relationship essentials with Scott Katanas and the Love Coach Academy crew and we'll be doing that together as well and so I'm excited that this morning I'm going to get a good three hours of like conscious, relational um, time, you know, really, I it just, it's, yeah, it's, I love 
I love this stuff. I love it. And I really need it right now. And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to go now. And, yeah. I'm feeling, like, kind of shy and, um, and bashful because of the things I'm sharing. Like, this is really intense stuff, you know, on a personal level. And then when I'm talking about someone else um, and other people involved, that's, like, a whole other layer and level of, like, <laughs> it's very hard for me. So, um, yeah, if you're seeing that I'm a little, like, you know, I'm, well, I'm on my moon too, and there's other layers and levels of, like, things that are triggering my insecurity right now, and so I'm gonna go turtle up because that's what I feel like doing, and I'm gonna love myself there. I love being my little turtle self sometimes. 